Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about GROC patterns for Java log. These patterns will help you to parse the Java log. Let's begin our session. These are the GROC patterns which we will discuss. Log label, Java class, Java file, Java method and Java log message. This is the syntax. This is the syntax for log label. This is for Java class. This is for Java file. This is for Java method and this is for Java log message. Let's see the demo. So first we need to start the Elasticsearch and Kiwana. I have already started. My Kiwana is already running and the, the Elasticsearch also. So you need to go to the bin of the Elasticsearch and run the Elasticsearch dot bat. You can see here dot bat. And then you need to go to the bin of the Kiwana. You need to run the Kiwana.bat and you need to wait for the two to three minutes. So it will be up and running. This Kiwana is up and running. You will see server running at this, like this. So you need to copy this. You need to open it in browser. So the Kiwana will be loaded. So this is the Kiwana interface and you need to scroll down and you need to click on the dev tools. You need to then you need to go to the you need to go to the Jiroc debugger. So this is the place where you will execute our Jiroc patterns. We will test here our Jiroc patterns if working or not. Now we will see one by one our Jiroc patterns. So let's start with first one, the log level. Suppose we want to extract the log level information from the log. For that we can use this pattern. Let's try to test this. You need to here we write the Jiroc pattern and here the log level so what could be the possible value of log level it could be it could be debug let's see yeah it is able to parse info right error alert there are many more so you can test others also so this is how you can extract the log level information from the log the second one is the Java class. So suppose you want to extract the Java class information from the log. So this is the pattern we will use. And suppose the Java class name is test dot customer. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it has parsed this. So this is the Java class with, along with the package. Let's see the next one, Java file. So this is the pattern for Java file. This pattern is used to extract the file name with the extension. So it can extract the dot class, dot Java, dot txt, dot pd or any other extension. Let's see, suppose the test dot Java. It, it, it can extract test dot class you can see it is able to test dot txt so so it can extract the file name with the extension so this is how the output look like next is java method suppose you want to parse java method name so for that we will use the two patterns for that we will use the java method with the java class pattern which we discussed earlier so suppose this is the test this is a package this is our class and this is our method name login so how we can pass this let's see org it is giving the output org which is not correct to get the correct method name first you need to extract the java class name using the java class pattern which we already discussed let's see still it is not giving correct because the separator you will have to use the separator also with the backslash now you can see it is giving the class name with the package and the method name so this is how you can extract method information next is java log suppose you are printing some some information in the log 
so how you can extract that suppose it could be anything like hey i am logged in so how you can do that you can use the java log message pattern you can see it has passed this information complete information so this is how we can use these patterns now we will see one complex scenario so suppose you want to parse this line you want to extract the information from this line so how we can do first is the debug so for that first we will use the debug pattern first we will use the log label pattern so log label label then space use the space then this is the we want to parse the java class so java class class in, in a small letter class then dot backslash then dot and the java method we want to extract the method information also and then this is the space file name so for that we have a we have java file this is how so so first you should know the position of the keyword like first position is of log label then then only you can use the log label at the first place it's not like randomly you are writing if the this log label position is at the end then you will use this at the end okay so first position is of log label so we are using at the static then it is class so we are extracting class information method then the file name let's see if it is working let's see if it is working so it is able to pass the debug and the class it is not able to pass the uh, not able to pass the java method because we gave the name of the field wrong so it is able to pass the login method label class but it is not giving the output of java file because we have used the wrong field name so let's see yeah you can see so these four info suppose, so how many information are present four log label package right class name class name method name and the file name so these are the four information we are able to extract with the help of this pattern so this is the you we can create more complex zero uh, pattern also which we will see in coming videos so this is how you can extract the information from the java log so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video